I've gotten a lot of questions on my old pothos propagation video on how you make a pothos so bushy, so big, so vibrant. So in today's video, we're gonna go through five tips and tricks you can do to make sure you have a pothos that just absolutely explodes. And we're gonna use this satin pothos in order to get that job done. The first thing we need to do is get this outside so we can actually work on it. So let's snap ourselves downstairs out into the epic zen oasis, my backyard. Well, welcome to the backyard. I haven't shown too much of this on the channel, so excited to be back here. But the first thing we have to do is figure out is it in the pot that it needs? Because if it's been growing, and this one's been growing in this pot for like maybe two years now, it's probably time to repot. Repotting means you're sizing up, which means more soil volume. You are using a little bit fresher soil, some soil that's got some really good nutrients in there, which means more space for the roots to grow, which means more ability for that plant to use all the energy that it's getting through the leaves via photosynthesis, which means it's gonna grow more and be bushier. So our first step is to repot our pothos. Okay, let's repot this bad boy. I'm going up about an inch and a half because first of all, Pothos is a pretty easy, quick grower. It can handle a size up like that. We're gonna use Espoma organic potting mix. It's indoor outdoor mix. It's actually one of my favorite mixes and Espoma is the sponsor of this video. So thank you Espoma for setting this up. It's really, really fun to work with a company that is 90 years old and has been organic from the very, very start, which almost no one can say. So I am a huge fan of that and I'm a huge fan of Espoma. So really been fun working with them. So what we're doing here is we are just taking a little bit of a base layer into our new terracotta pot and then we're gonna, it's, it's almost as high as the other one so we don't have to fill too much at the bottom. I might take some of that out, but we're gonna gently tease out the roots from this pot and just kind of audit them, see how we're doing, right? So let's go ahead. It's gonna get a little messy, of course. See? Okay, so we're a little root bound here. We're a little bit root bound. It's not too crazy. It's actually not that bad at all, but I will tease this out just a little bit before I put it into the new pot. And honestly, I may do a little root pruning because we don't want these to be just kind of sitting there winding around. So let's tease this out a little bit. Then we can put it in our base just like that. And we're gonna have to just shift this. Now what I'm doing here, you'll notice, I'm kind of shifting it on this side and that's because the next tip that I have for you will explain why I'm doing that and it's actually a really cool tip. So looks like one of these broke off, not a huge deal. We're gonna repot this, get it in there nice and good and then now we're just gonna backfill with soil. Okay. Just fill this up. You can see how really dark, loose, friable, full of good organic matter this soil is. I'm such a huge fan of it. So now what I wanna do, let's get the soil out of the way, is just make sure that it's somewhat evenly distributed in here and tease these vines out so they're not all tangled up. And we'll just put a tiny bit more soil in that front section right underneath all the vines. There we go. And now we're in a really good spot for our repot. I like to have these trailing over an edge anyways, but you'll see why I've shoved it all right here in just a second. So the secret tip number two that no one talks about is using propagated pothos to refill out a pot once you've actually potted it up. This is what happens when they come in the nursery. You have tons of propagations coming out of one pot. That's why they look so bushy in the first place. So if you follow my propagation guide in another video, you can just make a ton of these and then boom, put them in the pot. So let's go ahead and pot these new propagations up in the same pot as our existing pothos exists. So we have our propagated pothos with these nice long crazy roots. We have a little poking stick to get our depressions in the soil. And then I have my secret weapon, which is this mycorrhizal inoculant from Extreme Gardening that I really like. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what a mycorrhizal inoculant helps do is create a symbiotic relationship between the roots and the soil. And it just kind of extends the root system and really helps the propagation take a little bit better. So all I'm doing here is I'm coming in, making a nice depression in the soil. We're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of that soil and mycorrhizal inoculant in there. And then we're gonna place our cutting down 
we'll pat it pat it in there really nicely and one you notice and I think many people who watch my propagating pothos video noticed is that they can be a little bit hard to take if they have been sitting in the water for too long and so the way to solve that is to keep this soil a little more moist than normal after you've propagated and also to put some kind of humidity dome or cover on top until they've really taken. So what that means is for the, these plants here, what I'm gonna recommend you guys do if you follow this method is to put some kind of little cover over this so that there's some more moisture retention in this soil, right? Because they're used to just being doused in water. And so that's the way to prevent that and, and to, to mitigate the fact that they won't be now that they're in the soil. So I'm just potting this up and this is a little sparse, of course. It's gonna, it's gonna take some time to grow in. This is one of those things, you know, that you just kind of have to deal with in the garden, which is fantastic and which is completely fine. So we're gonna make three more depressions, one there, one there, and maybe one right there to put our final pothos cuttings in. This is a non-burning uh, inoculant and light nutrient fertilizer, so you don't need to worry about direct contact with the roots. So let's get it down in there. There we go. And so you can see when you pot it up, of course it's gonna look less bushy because you're putting a smaller pot into a bigger pot, smaller plant into a bigger pot. And um, this is the way that I've decided to mitigate that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we've got this big kahuna right here that has two. So I actually am gonna kinda of try to make a bigger depression here and get it in there. This one's gonna be a little bit harder to get in. Let's do this, Let's see if this will work. Yeah, that should work really well. Cover this one up. And now we've extended this pot a little bit. We have a lot of bushy growth coming out over here that we can, of course, train and, and reposition to look really nice. But we're also starting a new colony out here. So our next step is personal preference, but as a pothos grows, like any trailing vine, it's going to throw out a little bit more straggly growth at the bottom. And that's because, you know, at least in the corner that I'm growing mine in my home, it's getting less and less light as it goes down there. It's, in, it's devoting less and less resources. You can see these really long node distances between the, the leaf and the next leaf. It's just extremely far. And so what I'm gonna end up doing, especially because mine's already hitting the ground, is come through and prune. Maybe this one I might prune to around here right to where the next leaf starts. And then I might prune this one, let's see, probably to right there. And you know, a lot of you might be watching the video and thinking this is quite painful. Remember, I'm just gonna propagate all of those leaf nodes and put them back up in the top. So it's not a big deal, but this is a, a little bit of a maintenance that you may wanna do. It will give the appearance of bushiness without having to actually do anything because you're just tidying it up and removing some of these long straggly bits of growth that don't, in my opinion, look the nicest. Our next and final two steps to bush up your pothos a little bit more is to remember that it's an outdoor plant. It grows in jungle under canopies. It wants bright indirect light. A lot of us think that, you know, bright indirect light indoors is its own piece of terminology. Whereas if you were to compare bright indirect light outdoors versus indoors, what we think it is, it's so much brighter outdoors. And so if you put your pothos as close as possible to the most south facing window that you have, it's gonna be completely fine. It can even take a little direct sun, God forbid, right? So it will blow up because you're giving it way more of what it wants. Sunlight is the number one input, the number one resource. If you just Google image search pothos in the wild, you'll see how insane they grow. And so don't be afraid to put it into the sun. And then another thing to think about is a lot of us, we call pothos the easy to care for plant. Don't worry about it, you, can, you can't kill it. That's true, you can't really kill it. It's kind of hard to kill. At the same time, it's also very easy to make it thrive. And so make sure you're watering it appropriately, make sure you're fertilizing it once or twice a month in the growing season if you really want it to blow up and you will have an insanely bushy pothos. So to summarize guys, repot it in a larger pot. Reprop it, bush the top of the pot out by putting propagations in give it a little bit of a haircut to give the appearance of more bushiness, don't have these long straggly stems coming out, and then just give it the care that it wants. More light is generally what most of you are probably doing wrong, and then keeping it well watered and fertilizing once or twice a month in the growing season is exactly what you should do, and then you will have an insanely epic 
Pothos plants. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see anything else in the world of house plants, drop it in the comments down below. I'll do my best to make a video. And until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.